Hello again, it's Richard. It's about an hour since my last video. Uh, what I was doing was trying to work out this plate here, this upright one, was trying to find the middle of it, so I've drawn a line through the middle of the actual input shaft into the gearbox. I've worked out the height. As you see, this is my motor I'm using. I worked out the height from the middle of here down to here, which was about 135 millimetres from there to the bottom of that yellow plate. I've then drawn a line down here, about 137, and I've then welded another plate at right angles to it, drawn a line down the middle of this one and lined up the line up there. So, reached me two at the moment, might need a little bit of tweaking later on, uh, but it's, it looks pretty accurate at the moment. What I've then done, I've uh, basically positioned the gearbox on one workmate, which is sitting here, plates in the middle, and the motor is ready to side on. Always well, found a cut of issues. I'll just uh, side this on here and you can see what, what the issue is at the moment. Well, I've just slid the motor up a little bit closer. Good news is I've deliberately uh, arranged this so that this input shaft is a little bit higher than the input into here. As you know, the adapter that goes between here and the coupler, I've got a way uh, to be machined up at the moment. I'm going to end up with about a three inch gap between these two, which is about what I've got here. So I'm already basically did it like this so I know that I can pack under here to lift this up to the right height so the the, the coupler will be straight. At the moment it'll probably be going down a little bit of an angle, but then I can pack up underneath here. Um I've, at the moment you'll these bolts about twelve mil. So I'll start off by using the ten mil bolts to give me a little bit of uh, sideways movement and obviously I can get the up and down as well by using the washers. Once I get all nice and true I might will drill a couple of more holes exactly in the right places and then bolt it all down so the talk the uh immense power i hope uh won't actually dislodge any of this so uh, that's the plan at the moment a little bit at a time and we'll get there in the end uh one of the issues i found already just putting this on here is that the oh, that's heavy that is heavy old motor uh this is the input where one of the drive shafts goes and you can see the plate that I've made here which is the bottom plate is probably going to snag on it because it obviously overlaps it. The reason I made it bigger than this yellow plate down here was I wanted to try and put a gusset or um, a bit of angle line from here or steel from here down to here to try and give a little bit of torsional strength. Um, but looking at that at the moment it's going to hit it so I might as well end up cut this white plate off and some of the yellow plate. I might be lucky enough to retain a bit of it. What I'll probably do is to put a gusset on this side for now to hold it all nice and true. So I don't really fancy lifting it as it is, even if I solidly weld my tack welds at the moment. Because obviously there's a fair amount of weight on this motor. And I want to try and put the whole lot in as one. So what I'm probably going to do for now is put a nice gusset from here up to here, like that and fully weld all that to give us me the uh, strength I need before I actually sling it in the car. I won't bother with the one at the back at the moment because I just am likely to have to lose that because of the drive shaft. Drive shaft looks like it goes pretty straight up and down for what I can see in the car, so the chances are up to that, that distance, that there, I'm hoping is going to be enough because obviously the drive shaft will hang down at an angle, so it'll come upwards into that socket. So I'm hoping uh, that this is not going to be a complete waste of time and that I'm going to get around this problem, but I'm sure I'm going to get a few more of these along the way. So yeah, we might have to lose all of that lot here and maybe uh, we got some sort of other sort of bracing somehow. So all is not lost and uh, it's travelling on okay at the moment. Can't really do much more until I get the new made up coupler. As I said before, what I'd hope to do, I've obviously done my distances there. I've got a old... Um, alternator pulley, it's actually the crankshaft one off of an old 2 litre Pinto engine out of a Ford Granada and I've put, um, drawn up the plans how I want the machinist to do the pulley, the coupler for the pulley to be in the middle here so what I'd like to do is to to try and mount a old alternator off of here obviously turning that way clockwise from the from the front uh, therefore so I can charge my normal battery, the 12 volt one into the car and hoping 
So that have um, same you have to worry about having a uh, DC to DC converter, which are quite expensive. Whereas I've got a couple of steel that is laying around, so hey, you might as well use them. So going to work at the moment, but that's basically the general look of it. It's quite a heavy old lump. I was watching a video the other day that said his uh, motor was only 35 kilograms. This one's about 75, so it's about double the weight. Uh, but as I said before, I'm only after a car that'll get me to and from work every day. So if I get 15 mile round trip, I'll be happy. So hopefully not too heavy for the front of the, front of the uh, car as well. So I have to keep an eye on the the weight going in. Um, as I said before, the the engine over there weighs about 100 kilograms. This already weighs about 75 plus the ironwork. So we're probably going going to go way over the limit uh, just to see how things go. We might have to get some uh, heavier duty springs or some spring assistors so the car doesn't sit down too low on its haunches when it's all finished. Right, that's it for now. I'm going to take this um, off of here. I might do a bit of a sizing up to try and see what sort of gusset I can get on there initially. Just put a bit of an um, inch um, box section on there for now to, uh, and then maybe weld up my tack welds and then wait the arrival of the, um, the coupler. So yeah, see you soon.